Adam Kokesh, I got a couple questions for you for your RNC uh, being irrelevant to protest video. Uh, I can agree with you on some level that, you know, maybe going there um, in a mass protest is uh, kind of irrelevant. You're not really going to be able to do much or say much because the cops had protesters outnumbered four to one. Um, you know, I, I still think it's important that people went there uh, to support Dr. Paul, to, to have a voice for liberty. Um, in a lot of ways, they were kind of shouted down uh, when, when during the call to order uh, when they made the rule change. Uh, so it probably would have been helpful if more people were there for that. Um, but yeah, the the whole protesting in the streets thing, you know, maybe maybe that's not the best way to go about it, unless you can get 10 million people to march on 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 uh, DC or something like that. Um, I would like to hear, like, maybe a video that, that kind of uh, condenses your ideas of how to make a re uh, government irrelevant in day-to-day -day life. I think that might be helpful. Uh, maybe you have something that you could share with people. Um, I, I do think that we need to, um, you know, make it known far and wide about the, uh, the scripted teleprompter uh, rule change with the delegations. Um, I don't know if you saw that or not. But every Republican that I've shown that to, hardcore Republicans that just thought that um, that this was a fair game and, you know, Mitt Romney was a good, honorable person, they're, they're appalled. They're shocked. I, I see people leaving the Republican Party on mass exodus. Um, I think, you know, it, it's possible that I, that I might vote for Gary Johnson, but I haven't made that jump yet. And, and I'll tell you why. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quote KRS-One from the Obama deception. If they were controlling it before... What makes you think they're not controlling it now? If they could do all these things to uh, to steal the vote from Ron Paul, to uh, shape the opinions of people against Ron Paul with the media and stuff like that, then what, what's going to make it any different with Gary Johnson? They already tried to block Gary Johnson from being on the ballot in Iowa. I, I, I'm to the point where I don't know if, you know, they, everybody's caught in this lesser of two evils mentality. It's a very hard psychology to break. Um, you know, and if we look at our Declaration of Independence, it gives us a blueprint for this type of tyranny. After a long train of abuses, you know, we have, it's our right, our duty to throw off the government. So how do we do that without being thrown in Guantanamo or, you know, or, or whatever? Um, we, we need a populist movement that, that, uh, that invites the Occupy, that invites Tea Party, that invites Ron Paul people that invites disgruntled people from the GOP, disgruntled people from the Democratic Party, and invites independents and libertarians. Um, and there's one, one thing that we all have in common. Um, they use social issues to divide us, race, religion, sexual orientation, uh, political ideology, um, Red Sox, Yankees, Coke, Pepsi, Crips and Bloods. It's, it's all the same uh, dichotomy. But there's only one thing that is going to bring all these people together. It's, it's freedom. We all have a right to be free. We have a right to, as long as we're not uh, encroaching on someone else, we have a right to think and speak and, and choose what we want. And that is is uh, what's going to bring people together. So, yeah, thanks for watching the video.